right so hey everyone this is Magnet UC and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be making a procedural night sky in blender and this blender tutorial is of course not going to be how to use blender sort of type uh, this is going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a procedural night sky that's quick and easy and customizable so this is going to be your final result I'm just gonna turn those two off so this is going to be your final result you can use EV or cycles it doesn't matter both look exactly the same so uh, yeah let's get into it and uh, let's split the view right here and change the view uh, change the window from 3d viewport to shader editor and from object to world and now um, if you don't have something like this uh, just if you have something like this just go new right here and it'll create that so I have this right here and let's go right here okay so first of all we're going to be adding a texture coordinate node and to add nodes you just go shift a search whatever the name of the node is so texture coordinate right here and we're going to be creating a mapping node after that so mapping and take the generated output of the texture coordinate node and plug it into the vector of the mapping node and uh, the location should be 0, 0, 0 and rotation should be x on for 0, y for 90 and z for 0 so y for 90 is really really important and you're going to see why we did why we did that very soon so and the scale will be 1 1 1 of course and now create two noise textures I've just simply renamed these two noise textures to stars 1 and galaxies just for a more appropriate uh, look so shift a noise texture so for the stars set your scale to 100 detail to 10 and roughness to 1 this is a very important setting and do not mess with the distortion it creates a really really weird effect uh, you know it does what it's supposed to do but we don't want that in this case and for the galaxies again set the scale to 20 detail to 7 and roughness to 1 you don't want to go too big on the galaxies and so now we're taking those two and create two color ramps two separate color ramps for each so shift a color ramp again again these two are renamed color ramps to star density and galaxy density and they do exactly as what's uh, written right here so this basically controls the density of the stars so yours will look something like this probably and to fix that you can simply crush in the black value to the right so take this black handle right here and just crush it in like that and it'll just it just basically controls uh, the number of stars in the sky and I don't do not recommend going anything below 0.6 since that looks a bit too dense I'd say I mean who who has that many dense stars in the night sky right so something like that it looks pretty good 0.16 uh, 616 I'm sorry 0.616 for me works pretty well and for the galaxies again uh, crush it, crush it in if you want more denser uh, I mean smaller I can say I think um, less denser galaxies so something like this looks very horrible it looks like cobweb all across the sky you can do that if you're going for a arachnid horror style game but this is going to be a night sky so uh, just crush it in like that and you can see now uh, you could see um, that it looks something like that and we're going to do the stars first we're doing the stars first and we'll get to this blue hazy sky later and now just plug this in into uh, yeah first of all create a mix RGB node uh, drop that in and just set it to screen this is very important don't do not set it to mix set it to screen since we're uh, con combining two black and white values and so set it to screen uh, plug the first star density into the color one and galaxy's density into color two and create another color ram node and this is going to control uh, the mixing of the stars and galaxies so uh, something like that doesn't affect much but as you can see yeah the galaxies start to disappear when we uh, crush it in with the black value so something like that looks 
pretty nice in my opinion as uh, so something like that and this is our final star output this is our final stars and galaxies output uh, it looks something like that okay this is going to be our final stars output so we've done that and now let's get to the sky which is the fun part so again create a gradient texture this time uh, so a gradient texture it's a really really cool texture that i discovered a few days ago i don't know why i didn't discover this till now but it solves 90 percent of my texture problems so create a gradient texture and plug the vector of the mapping node into the vector of the gradient texture again and take the color of the gradient texture and plug it into another uh, color ramp node and this is going to be a bit custom color ramp node so your one will look something like this so i uh, made it something like that to give that hazy kind of um, effect so as the atmosphere you know the center ring is very very uh, light you could say because of the atmosphere and um, as you can see we're going in a darker transition transition as we go up the sky so uh, that looks pretty good so set this to something uh, pretty light uh, you know you could go for a darker uh, color you could go for something red if you want a red night sky uh, it, it's really customizable so crush that in like that and create a darker shade of whatever color you choose and after that just yeah lighter shade right here and a bit darker shade and the darkest shade of the color you want so that's just the way it will work so this is going to be a final sky output this color ramp not this gradient texture so this color ramp just controls everything and we're going to take the uh, star final output and this final sky output and we're going to go into another mix rgb screen node so search mix rgb drop that in and set it to screen again uh i don't know why i said it to screen we're not mixing black and white values but it looks pretty good you can mess around with other of the stuff there are a lot of stuff uh you can mess around with that but i'll leave it at that and so star file output uh plug it into the color one and final sky output plug it into color two and for the factor again create another color ramp sky and star mix this time and this uh it basically controls what could you say a bit of the brightness i'd say it doesn't, it doesn't control much as it was intended to uh, but it basically controls the brightness a bit so if you bring the black value a bit to the right i mean to the left uh, it becomes lighter and if you bring it to the right it becomes something like that so something like 0.4 rate to work pretty great for me and so plug it into the factor of the final sky and star output and now we're going to take this color and plug it into this uh, word output but we cannot do that without converting it into a shader first so this color this basically outputs a color and we're going to plug it into a shader to give the final output so i'm going to use i'm gonna use a background shader for this so shift a background and drop that in uh, i already have that first so color into the color of the background and this strength basically controls yeah the strength of the how bright this uh, night sky is so something like 3.6 is pretty great for me and take the background this green to the world output surface green not the volume the surface so if you don't have the world output again you can search for all of these notes like that and uh, yeah that's basically the whole night sky that's just it so this is the full node setup if you want i have i'll have the blend link dot blend link in the description as well if you want uh, so you could copy this so hopefully you copied it and uh, yours one looks something like this you can of course use whichever render engine you want you can mess around with the um, gradient a bit your customs and that's basically it for this video and i could add something like clouds and uh, better you know emission maps right here uh, so the stars actually look good if you turn on bloom and eevee that that looks horrible i'm not gonna do that because 
the uh, sky right here is emitting bloom as well so if you want that for the uh, stars right here i'll do that a tutorial for that and advanced tutorial for that so that's basically it this is the basic tutorial and if you want clouds or anything else just leave them in the comments down below leave suggestions leave flaws or whatever you have in your mind down below in the comments and that's basically it for this video and thanks for watching leave a like if you want more videos like this and also subscribe to the channel to never miss future uploads and that's basically it for this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye